Hi Carpentry Addict, I am Domingo Freire from Caracas, Venezuela and today I will show you how to make these Christmas trees. We have to draw the Christmas trees on the wood. For that I recommend you make some cardboard templates. For this project I'm going to use quarter inch thick plywood. I'm going to use paper tape to keep the stencil from moving while I'm drawing. To cut these pieces you can use your jigsaw. Remember to make the cuts outside your work table and be especially careful when you are going to cut the start at the top of the tree. To make the cuts at these sharp angles and for this carved shaped tree, you should use a curved cutting blade on your jigsaw. To cut curves with the jigsaw, remember that we are going to use the saw without the forward pedal movement. We are going to make some holes in one of the trees to imitate some Christmas balls. To make those holes I am going to use my WorkPro 20 volts cordless drill and I am going to use the wood bits that come in the kit of this tool. Here you can see that the wood drill bits have a very fine point to make the center perfectly before making the holes. We are also going to take the measure tape the drill and the 20 volt battery. We place a wooden strip to avoid damaging our work table and we verify that the drilling function is select in our tool. We are going to imagine where we would like to place the Christmas balls on the tree and we make the holes.
I will use a wooden strip to make the base of our Christmas pines. We can take the measurement with our tape measure or by placing the pine on the wooden strip. We are going to mark the distance with a pencil. We will need two pieces for each tree. I suggest using a square to mark the perpendicular line before making the cut with your jigsaw. In order for our tree stand up, we are going to place a wooden strip on each side in this way. To join the pieces, I suggest using white glue. You can spread the glue on the surface using a brush. To hold the pieces until the glue dries, it is best to use clamps. Once the glue is dry, we are going to sand all the edges and surfaces of our wooden trees. To remove the sharp edges of these pieces, I suggest you sand all the base. For this job, I love to use my WorkPro Cordless Rotary Tool. In the description of this video, I leave you the link to workprotools.store so you can learn about and buy all the tools that this brand has created to make it easier for us to work on any woodworking project. The good thing about using wood to make these Christmas trees is that you can apply paint, varnish, ink or whatever finish you like best. To finish this project, I'm going to use metallic acrylic paint, because it dries so fast. Thank you a lot for watching this video, I hope you like these little Christmas trees, remember to click on like, share and comment this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video.